오, 저거는 쥐 많이 먹을 것 같아요. <웃음> 다본 적이 없어요. 아. 다 보고 싶어요. 안녕하세요. 저는 미국 공군 존입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 현재 대한민국 공군 대위로 복무 중인 홍민지입니다. 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 한국에서 하는 에어쇼는 블랙 이글스 팀이 하는 에어쇼를 알고 있는데 군 안에서 행사를 위해서 더 축하하는 자리를 빛내기 위해서 하는 에어쇼 또는 요새는 지역 축제에서도 블랙 이글스 팀이 가서 많이 행사를 하는 걸로 알고 있습니다. Military has a couple of different air aerial show. I know of the the Thunderbirds, were stationed at an Ellis Air Force Base where I was from. I actually grew up in Las Vegas, and so I went to a lot of air shows. I really like seeing the planes. It was actually why I wanted to become a pilot when I was a kid was because of the air shows and all the cool stuff. But it's supposed to demonstrate for civilians a small aspect of what the Air Force or what the Navy or what the military does in a skill and precision and really really cool. I know, I didn't hear it. This is the Navy team. 일단은 방패 안에 사선으로 위 아래로 나눠져서 위에는 하늘을 뭐 수호하는 전투기가 있고 밑에는 바다를 수호하는 항공모함인 것 같은데 하늘과 바다를 방패 안에서 표현한 거라고 생각을 하고 블루 엔젤? 블루는 바다고 엔젤은 천사니까 뭔가 이 역시도 블루는 바다를 뜻하고 엔젤은 뭔가 하늘을 뜻한다라고 생각이 듭니다. Every symbol has a meaning. Even the shape of the badge probably has a meaning. It's similar to the coat of arms. I don't know the exact meanings behind each one. And I just think they picked it because it was cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's a cool name. You know, angels are in the sky. Blue. The, the ocean's blue. Let's call ourselves the blue angels. Why not? Why do they call themselves the Thunderbirds? You know, or the Black Eagles? I mean, it's just it's cool names. <laughs> you know. I was in basic training, uh, we were called the wolf pack. Yeah, wolf pack. Every unit has something like that. Usually like an animal, but not always. When I was in a unit, it's called the falling stars. They all have a history. They've gone through a bunch of stuff. There's a reason they got their names. Sometimes you actually know that history, but most of the time there's so many names, it's, you know, you can't keep track of them all. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why they picked that, but I don't know. <laughs> so cool that they can do that right off from takeoff. Ooh. I heard that they can get within three feet to like 18 inches of each other, of the wings, and it's incredibly close. Great deal of precision needed. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're probably pulling something at least four Gs, if not all the way up to nine. I always love that sound, the going across like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. And the pilots, they have something like at least a thousand hours of flying. They're all highly trained combat pilots, and then they get they apply for these special jobs where they do air shows. So they really only take the best of the best. And it stands to reason they have to be really, really, really good to be safe. Chemtrails. <laughs> It's cool when they color those, like they do different colors. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, see like right there, that pull up has got to be at least 5 Gs, if not, you know, maybe more, I don't know. I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything. Like everybody. So much fun, probably. Yeah, they only take the, the best of the best pilots. It's really a, a different experience seeing it in person. You feel the force of the aircraft flying by you because they'll do low flybys. You know, they'll only be 100 feet off the ground, maybe, or less, and blast past you and stuff. And it, you feel that force and you, you get a sense of pride. You know, I think everybody feels that way when they see that stuff. It's pretty cool. Since I'm in the I think it's really, really hard. <laughs> I mean, they're probably used to it. I've also been told that if you trust your body, your body can confuse you when you're in an aircraft. And in some cases, pilots would be actually flying upside down, but they would feel like they're upright and, and they wouldn't know. So for instance, when flying at night and over a lake, 
a lot of times the lake can look like the sky and if they get flipped over all of a sudden they think this is the sky and that's the ground and then they pull up and they just immediately go into the ground and, and I've, I've heard that happening so your body can be confused as to what direction it's going and stuff so it's important to pay attention to your instruments 이게 바다가 하늘인 줄 알고 이렇게 뒤집어져서 착각이 돼서 이렇게 비행을 하는 거라고는 들었는데 이렇게 일부러 하는 거는 저는 못본것 같습니다 본 적이 있어요 블랙 이글 쓰는 대한민국 공군 특수 비행 팀이고요. 기종은 T50 브라보라고 해서 고등 훈련기 T50을 이제 행사용으로 좀더 개조해서 만든 거고 저희는 블랙 이글 쓴 여덟 대 같이 이동합니다. Okay. Well, I mean, their name is the Black Eagle, so of course they have a Black Eagle. Their formation, I guess, has six in them. Then you have the Korean Air Force Special Air Team. It's fairly simple. And then, of course, the color scheme makes sense because it's the same as the Korean flag. So, of course, they're going to pick those colors. White for purity, blue for, I believe, it is trust and loyalty. And then red is for honor and passion. I think that's the color. Uh, that's, that's what I like. That makes sense they would do red and blue because the white already comes from the clouds. Ah. So now you have all the colors. They have more aircraft, right? So there's like eight, I think I saw there, eight aircraft, right? Yeah. One of the things I liked about the Black Eagles, and it's the same thing with the Thunderbirds, is the bottom of it. So they have wings like a bird. I always thought that that design was pretty cool. And the Thunderbirds have a similar design. Their, their aircraft looks like a, an eagle. I've seen them perform. They're very good. I've seen them perform also with the Thunderbirds. They're a very good team. I think it's it's always cool when they do they do this formation. Maybe we'll do it again here soon. But they kind of like crisscross from each other like this, and they get really really close. I think that's more impressive than just flying close to each other, you know, as like one formation. Because that crisscross has got to take a lot more practice and effort going into that to not collide with each other in midair. Looks like they're getting really, I mean, they're probably a little bit further away, but there, but it looked like they were just like about to collide. 네, 저는 기지 안에 사는데 이제 전투기 뜨고 내릴 때 진짜 시끄러워요. 네. 자다가도 깰수 있을 정도로 기종마다 시끄러운 게 다르긴 한데 F-15K는 기지 안에 있으면 이렇게 대화가 네. 안 돼요. 뭐라고? No. 이렇게. It's extremely loud. And, and like she said, you know, you can't even sleep. And the F-16s always take off with their afterburners, so they are super loud. They rock your room, like. Mm. So if the sun isn't waking you up, they certainly will, because they do their, their operations like really early in the morning and stuff. 기종이 일단 다른 거 쓰는 거 같고 연기 내뿜는 것도 좀 한국이 더 눈에 띄게 화려한 거 하려고 한거 같아요. The performance from the Koreans, they were doing a bit different types of flying, you know, different types of uh, tricks, uh, and also the colors. But I've seen some really spectacular air shows. I haven't actually seen the Blue Angels in person, but I have, like I guess I've seen the Thunderbirds in person. There's usually music too. It's a little unfortunate there's no music. There's usually like kid rock playing. That's very common. <laughs> but they usually do their tricks in timing with the music, which is pretty cool. 무슨 생활 하시느라 고생 많습니다. 전 떠나보겠습니다. To our American and Korean soldiers, especially here in Korea, work well together, support one another, right? One team, one fight. Just hang in there, it'll be okay. So today we compared Korean air shows to American air shows and talked a little bit about the, the Blue Angels and the Black Eagles. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.